And okay, for BTC, take profit was not hit, right? Take profit was not hit. And then um, let me show you how I took the trade. Okay, so the BTC on a 15 minutes, not 15 minutes. Okay, so this was a trade. You can see that it hit the Quasimodo level and then failed to come back. Okay, all right. But normally this is supposed to be the target. So what happened here? was that we had a, uh, hold on. Okay, so this is, was this was a one hour engulfing, okay. I have a one hour engulfing, you have a Quasimodo. So high, low, higher high, lower low, and engulfing. Okay, so now, okay, so now price hit this level. We don't know what it hit, okay. So let me explain to you. When you go to the lower time frame, I think five minutes or one minute. Okay, five minutes. This is what you're seeing. Five minutes. You're seeing a mitigation block. Okay, and then on the one minute. Let's see, one minute, one minute. Okay, one minute. It was one minute. So one minute. All right. I'll explain one minute. Okay, so we have a low. So we have a high, a higher low, okay, and a higher high. Okay, not your usual Quasimodo, but what I want to explain is this. What I want to explain is this. Okay, so you see this demand zone. Okay, this demand zone. Okay, this is what we call a significant demand zone. It is a significant demand zone because it's a demand zone that has rejected price several times. So you see that here, price came to the demand zone, rejected. All right. So that significant demand zone has been rejected several times. Price is struggling to break it, okay? So you have a first rejection here. You have a first rejection, second rejection, several rejection inside it, and then we break it. We broke that particular demand zone, okay? So this makes this zone a very significant zone. And the point is this. Okay, which of the supply zone broke this demand zone? You see, this is a supply zone. Price came from here, couldn't break the demand zone, okay? And then created a supply zone around this area that came to break this particular one. So now that demand zone that was that was able to break, price resisted the demand zone because before it was broken. Okay, so this area becomes a strong point of interest, so a high resistance liquidity, okay? So now... Let me look at the one minute chart. Okay, price came back to that significant zone. Okay, came back to that zone, right? And then gave us a rejection. Okay, so when it gave us this particular rejection and we broke this small structure, this minor structure here, I planned on taking this trade from here, just this one. Okay, and then put my stop loss above this. So that is the whole thing. Okay. So I decided to take the trade here, from here, okay, because I have a uh, strong support and then opposite it, yeah, we have a kissing candle. And I believe, even though I didn't confirm that, or maybe a slower time frame, as time frame lower than this, you could have a base here. So I set it here and then put, and then that was a drawdown. And then we started falling, we broke this particular low, broke this particular low, and then, inside the higher time frame Quasimodo level. Okay, so remember there was a Quasimodo here. Even though this is a trend, high, low, high. Within this, we have a high, a low, a high, a lower low, and a higher high. So this Quasimodo just rejected price and we are still struggling to go up or to go down, okay? So that was it for BTC. Next, uh, NZDCHF. Very simple to explain. 
I'll do those and then leave GBP USD and EUA USD for another time. Okay, so now on this particular pair, okay, uh, what happened? What happened? I think I saw it on the lower time frame on a five minutes chart. I saw a small QM. Okay, so a small QM here. Okay, so this is a setup. This is a setup, and this is QMC. Okay, so now we had a first touch. Okay, so we have this and this, and then I think we had an engulfing on a five minute, 15 minutes chart or five minutes chart. Okay. Okay, so we had an engulfing here. Okay, so low, high, lower, low, higher, high. Okay, so price came back to it, and that's all. Okay, so here there were a lot of things. I mean, there was a mistake that happened here. Okay, so now you can see the same explanation for the low resistance liquidity. I use the low resistance liquidity more. Okay, right, and this is how it works. So this high, a low, higher high, higher low. Higher high we broke. So this is where we had the first break of structure. Okay. So we had the first break of structure here. And market broke this structure and gave us a pullback. This pullback didn't reach this level. Can you see that? Didn't reach this level because this is the level that initiated this whole move. Okay. Didn't reach. So this is my liquidity. Okay. So when I saw this and got a QM here, I take this trade and target the liquidity. Okay. Now on a higher time frame, there was a trend line. So you can see we have a trend line. Okay, we have a trend line. So here I was looking for a push up, a push to the downside. Okay. So I think I sold somewhere here and my stop loss got hit. Okay. So when it got hit and traded above this and closed above it, okay, I immediately put a buy on this candle. Put a buy on this candle. Okay, so market came, I bought here and then pushed up. And then it was, I think, when the market reopened. Okay, so there was huge spread and gave me that drawdown, but I left it targeting what this high. Targeting this high. Okay, remember, this is also a low resistance liquidity. Broke this low, gave us a pullback. Okay, all right. All right. Um, then again, uh, GBP USD, GBP USD or SAD. Okay, so GBP USD, okay, there has been has been uh trading within this channel. Okay, so there's a trend line at the bottom and a power line at the top. Okay, so what happened was this. You have a low, a high, a lower low, and a higher high. Okay, so confluence the trend line, price hit it, and I took the trade here on one minute. I think I have I should have the chart. I should have a chart on my desktop. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so I think okay, so this was a New Zealand uh CHF okay that I took from here targeting here. So this is where my stop loss got hit. Okay, and I became a buyer. All right. Next, 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 next. This is a BTC. Okay, so my entry was here. Okay, traded slightly above it and it dropped, I think. Okay, you, I'm not talking about you today. Okay, so this is a British pound USD. Okay, so now in here, I got a Quasimodo. Okay, got a Quasimodo, a low, a high, a lower low, and a higher high. So that was my entry from here. Okay, and then. Okay, that was my entry on the lower time frame. Okay. So, okay, so it should be the entry. It should be the entry. Sometimes you just, <laughs> we don't understand, you are just greedy, okay? So with this entry, target, first target should be here. Okay, first target should be here. Okay, so... Price traded above it, and we wanted. I wanted more. However, my colleague uh took a trade from here. He got this strong sell. He got this strong sell. Okay, he got this strong sell. Anyway, so that is it for today. USD two. Yes, USD. Same Quasimodo. 
this is a very hidden Quasimodo. Low, high, lower, low, higher, high. Okay, boom, same thing. And here we have a low resistance liquidity. So it's the same entry as. Okay, so you gotta like touch it, but if you go to a lower time frame, you could you will see that there was still a space there. Okay, still a space somewhere here that was left. Okay, so if you want to understand the low resistance liquidity, then you have to watch uh liquidity concept, okay. So here, price use the mitigation block, okay? Use the mitigation block instead of this primary point of interest. So when price is coming back, I know this is liquidity, okay? I know this is liquidity, right? It's the same thing here. High, lower high, high, higher low, higher high, lower low, okay? This is the level where we broke. It became liquidity. It's the same thing, same concept, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.